All right, hi everyone. I still miss you all so much. Uh, I have a book for us today, Blackout by John Rocco. Uh, some of you have heard this before in your classrooms. I know either myself or Miss Altman or your teacher has read it, but I really enjoy this book and I wanted to read it today because I think we can all relate to it just a little bit um, in our current situation with being at home. And so think about that as we're reading it today. And then also think about whose perspective is shown here um, and whose perspective might be left out. So a little bit of critical thinking here as we go along. All right, so Blackout by John Rocco. All right, so it starts off with this boy in the window. He's just staring out, he looks pretty bored. All right, so if you can see, there's some city lights, some noises. It looks like it's almost nighttime. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. And then here we can see a bunch of paneling. And so I'm gonna go through each one with you. Okay. The mom's kind of typing away at her computer. Boys up here reaching for a game. Dad's in the kitchen cooking dinner. Sister's on her phone saying, and then he said, inside everyone was busy. So here he is pulling down a game. Comes in the sister's room. Get out, she screams. So he's looking for someone to play with. He's walking down the stairs. Brings it to dad. I'm inferring he's asking here. Dad says, sorry, much too busy. So mom's working. All right, I'm gonna zoom in on these panels here. So here he is, and I love the way the author portrays him climbing up these stairs. It's kind of a struggle. He gets into his room playing video games, and then the lights went out. So look here in these panels, how the lights, you can see it progressively get darker, all of them. So he was already bored and now he can't even play his video game. Mom! shine in her light here. Nothing worked at all. So what are you thinking here already? He was looking for someone to play with. Everyone was so busy. No one could play with him. And now the lights are out. So they're all kind of in this predicament. Look at the city where before it was lit up and buzzling. The city was dark and quiet and still now. We huddled around flashlights and candles. So it looks, looks like they're kind of trying to make some light out of it, some fun, some little shadow puppets. The cat's not having it. <laughs> Meow. Until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside. Can we go, I like that dot, dot, dot. The ellipse is there to like show that pause. They're all thinking the same thing. Can we go? They're looking up. So we went up and up and up to the rooftop. And found the light. So look how different the lights are that we were thinking about. It's not electricity lights, but starlight. And people, it was a block party in the sky. 
We waved to everyone and then heard other sounds below. So everyone in the city is in the same situation and they're all now trying to make the best of it. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on. And notice that there's a lot more light going on in here, not just with the flashlight, but even the color of the character's clothing. A party was going on there too. So look, there's free ice cream, kids are playing. We've got the fire department here opening up a fire hydrant. People are out singing on their steps. Okay, to me I'm thinking, the author's really showing the community coming together in these pages. And I notice that there's no more paneling. There's all one big illustration. And no one was busy at all. So you can really see the change here in the characters. They went from being isolated to together. And when the lights came back on, everything went back to normal. We've got mom back to work, dad's back in the kitchen, setting the clock. He's in his room, the sister's getting ready to dial. What are you noticing here? He's staring at the light switch and click. But not everyone likes normal. I gotta go. Good idea, Betty. Now they're all playing a game in the dark. The little candlelight. There they are. The end. So what I'm thinking the author was trying to tell us, at least this is my thinking, I wanna know your thinking too, is that it's almost kind of nice to have that distraction from the busy world. And it sometimes does bring everyone together in a different way. So my perspective on this is a little jealous because they're in this community where in a city where they all could, at least from some distance, um, get together and share in some laughter. But um, me living in a neighborhood, a little bit different from that. I, I'm not able to see my neighbors as close up as these were. So that's one perspective that I think was missing from this. Um, what other ones can you think of? So I hope you enjoyed Blackout by John Rocco and I can't wait to read with you again.